The pathologic type is a classification scheme for chondrites to indicate whether they experience some kind of secondary alteration on the parent body. So this is the pathologic type. So let's assume we have a parent body with some piece here that later might got injected arriving on Earth then as a meteorite. Now this entire parent body experienced some kind of temperature and depending on temperature there was some alteration occurring on this parent body. Now the pathologic type is a number scale from 1 to 7 indicating a specific temperature and associated with this temperature a certain secondary alteration process or possible processes. Now the most primitive meteorites, chondrites, they did not have experienced any secondary alteration are of type 3. So in between here. So these are the meteorites we actually want to look at because they contain the material that is very primitive, that is unchanged on the parent body, which means it is as it formed in the protoplanetary disk, which is what we want because if we study these, we understand or can study what happened in the protoplanetary disk. At lower pathologic types, there was some hydrous alteration. So hydrous alteration that happened. And in this case, there was water flowing through the, or there was those water present on the parent body that then um, produced a lot of hydrous phases like phyllosilicates. For example, in CM chondrites, lots of matrix and also chondrules or parts of chondrules are replaced by phyllosilicates. And at higher petrologic types, there was a higher temperature, so there was some kind of metamorphic overprint or alteration. So in this case, chondrules and matrix recrystallized and at some point almost completely disappears. So 5, type 5, type 6, there's no more chondrules. And 7 is, there's already some melt present. These are quite rare types. But still with the higher pathologic types, it might not be just um, anhydrous metamorphic overprint, but maybe some kind of fluid assisted metamorphic alteration, something like this. Also, the, the numbers, the pathologic types, type 4, type 5, they're not um, very clearly associated to a certain specific temperature. This is rather a more qualitative scale. Now, for the carbonaceous chondrites, they are mostly of, of, of low pathologic types, like CM2, CI1, uh, CR2, there's also CR3, and so on. Only in case of CKs, they can be CK4. The ordinary chondrites, the enzyme chondrites, they are very often of higher pathologic types like H5, H5, H5 H6, L5, L6. They are among the most abundant chondrites. We have now collection, which is also why they are called um, ordinary chondrites. But they are also um, pathologic type 3 chondrites among the ordinary chondrites. So this is a very important scale here we have to indicate what happened to a meteorite on the parent body and about how primitive the meteorite is we might be studying. So this is uh, how the scheme of pathologic type works.